Newton's foodie sidekick for 10 years and has since then been an actress, a dancer, a television chef and even a wedding celebrant. Greedy. <laughs> Surrender, obviously. And uh, Nola Heifner, of course, is um, the fabulous newsreader that we love and adore from Wake Up. We're going to get to her in a moment, but first, Dorinda. Oh, is she there? Oh, there she is. She's here. Hello, baby. Are you doing this show just to keep tabs on your daughter? Oh, I'm something like that. <laughs> I watch her. Oh, I keep tabs on you too, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm somebody's <laughs> first, yeah. Nola, do you hate the fact that you're sitting there in the studio and we're here I and we could, you know, know. be getting mum cuddles? This is like torture. It's bittersweet. I get to see mum, but I don't get to hug mum. And I can highly oh. recommend having a Dorinda hug all of you before you go. They are the best oh. ever. So <laughs> any problems you have, oh. just lay your head on her chest and they go. All right, oh, if we Totally your okay. your mum is an absolute superstar, and it's obvious mm -hmm. um, that uh, this kind of talent is genetic. What was it like <laughs> growing up in a, a bit of a showbiz family? Look, it was pretty mad. Like, I'd come home, we'd hang out with Whoopi Goldberg, Fleetwood Mac. One day, the West Indian cricket team, <gasps> random. Wow. And a particularly traumatic episode. I came home and yes. do you remember Albie Mangles from World Safari? Oh, yeah. He was in his tog babies lying by our pool when I came <laughs> home from school. And I'm like, Hello. no, can't unsee, can't unsee. <gasps> um, so, you know, it was... <laughs> It was pretty mad, never dull, and I definitely had lots of show and tell for school every day. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, hey, it's not, How did you not know all, all those awesome. people? Well, because I work internationally, you see, my, my shows, we don't get Aust uh, during the, on Australian television anymore, but my shows are in over 40 countries around the globe. And so I get to meet these people. And Whoopi actually wrote, wrote the foreword to my first book. Oh, so really? we became friends. She, I met an Adelaide. She was doing really? a show here at Her Majesty's, and I was working on a, a show, a play, with the State Theatre Company, and they said they wanted a few uh, multi multi-cults to go and meet Whoopi. And uh, <laughs> now I was ready to go and meet her, but then last minute, something came out, rehearsals, and I couldn't go. So I sent her a little selfie of me, with the old-fashioned, you know, one of those cameras that prints out in the internet, and I went... Oh, and I put a, a message and then I said, aren't you lucky not to meet this mad woman? <laughs> so, so you stood up, Whoopi Goldberg, yes. and she said, oh, I'm so sorry you couldn't make it, I'll reschedule. So no, 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 no. Yeah, she yeah. then said, ask the, them to call me and tell me to come to stage door afterwards. And I thought, oh, I can't do it. I've got rehearsals. Yeah, who does so, she think she is? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. It was about the rehearsals last minute. It was cancelled. So I did show up at stage door. And I had this crazy situation where just when they came up and said, is Dorinda Hoffner here? Dorinda Hoffner. <laughs> we'll be going back more to meet her. And then all these people rush out. I'm a friend of Dorinda's. <laughs> With me. And then I went in there. She said, come and sit next to me. So we, we chatted a bit. And then she got her personal assistant to give me her private number to call her later on. And that's what happened. And then it followed up where she then was touring to Melbourne and I had my son's birthday and I was touring with a school show so I couldn't go. And so she said to me, you're a terrible mother. What have you got against Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> Nothing. I love her. I love her. I want her to come back. Whoopi, Sorry, come Whoopi. Back no, I'm a bit busy. Sorry, <laughs> no, no. Doing my hair tonight. No, but she then did the, my son. You know, she like, she had a, a people call my son and to say happy birthday. <gasps> and my son had his mates in the house. And when she called, they called and he said, that's Whoopi Goldberg. And they said, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah sure Whoopi Goldberg. But it was Whoopi Goldberg. That's right. That's Whoopi Goldberg. Tell her I had a whole lot of people <laughs> like that. You know, then they come to my house now. I cook for them, you know. We have well, a... cooking, cooking wow. is your art form, isn't it? I that think is I've, right. I've, I've saw you many times on Bert Newton's <laughs> program, and I think <laughs> you've written right. six or six cookery books. Well, or something eight. Like that. Eight. Eight. And eight. This, this is, is the eight. last one. Yes. Honey, well, not I... last. Oh, oh the, the this latest. Is the latest one here. Honey, I shrank the chef. I have shrunk it. Yeah. <laughs> you got. You have. So I why have. did you? What motivated you to write this? Well, book? Um, about uh, wellness. I've always said that I don't diet. I have. I believe in food. I'm a foodie. Mm. So I thought, well, how can I get to eat the things I like and still lose weight? Because when they told me I had type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure, I thought, no, 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 I've got to do something about that. So I put together some recipes and tried them out, and they worked. And I got myself a very sexy personal trainer. Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea. And, yes. and how much weight did you lose? 87 kilos. Jeez. Wow. 87. Wow. That's huge. Let's hear from Dorinda. And obviously we now 
know where you get all that talent from, Nula. Your secret's out. Your mum's just brilliant. Yeah, we love her. We love we you. She's love pretty her. shy, love you. isn't she? You've got to kind of coax the words out of her because she's so shy. That's what I find yeah. with mum. Mum, you know, step out of your shell. A little shell. bit nervous Seriously. and lost for words. Yeah. Uh, I don't blush visibly. World. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies, thank you very much for joining us on Studio 10. We do appreciate it. Joe, good boy, great book. It's oh out God. now. With a scratch and sniff bookmark. Yeah. That's right. Oh, smells it's of vanilla. It's beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> Say hi to Whoopi for me. <laughs> oh, well, next up I see her. You All love right. her. Good. good luck with that book. You are watching Studio 10. There's still plenty more ahead. Stay right where you are or you'll have to answer to Ita. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.